Hey everyone, this is Ryan Steva from the homesteadconsultant.com. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to create your own map like this. You may have always dreamed of having a contour map for your property, your homestead. And this is something that you can actually do with totally free tools. You can see this map not only has contours, it also has uh, pictures and other things under these listings. All of this stuff can be done from within free tools that you can get online. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, today is going to be just how to get all the contours and how to upload them. I will show you the rest of how to make your map in a second video. So to get a map like you are seeing, uh, the contours, the detail, we need to first pull that data. We can get that data from a specific website. Uh, it's a free USGS website that the government has put up so we can pull that data from here. So the first thing we need to do before we get anywhere else on making this map is pull the initial contour and elevation data. That's going to happen from this USGS site that you can see here on the screen. So the first thing you need to do once you're on this site is find your location. So I'm just going to pick a spot near where I live. I'm going to pick a really interesting spot right here, right by the Caney Fork River on a dam for Center Hill Lake. So this is the spot that I want to pull data from. Once I've found this spot, I'm going to go over to the left <clears throat> and select Elevation Products. Now that will come with several of these selected. You want to actually deselect everything except for the one meter DEM. So we're going to click on that and select that. Then what we're going to do is, as long as we're zoomed in on the area that we want to pull data from, we're then going to click the search products button on the top left here, that blue button, and it's going to pull up the products or the potential items that we can pull data from. So now you can see this is where we were. We clicked search products and then it went to this tab, the products tab. And then what we're going to want to do is highlight over these different ones. Make sure they cover the full space of the area that we're trying to pull data from. And then we're going to look at which one is the best. Uh, USGS one meter is really what we want to go with. And you can see this map up here appears to have the entire area we're looking at, whereas some of these maps don't. Um, so I'm going to click this one. On the top right, there's this little tiny shopping cart with a plus sign on it. You're going to click Add to Cart. So you can see now you can delete it from the cart, add to cart there. And then we're going to look at the top again, this little hard to see tab that says cart and click there. You can see this is the correct um, elevation data sheet for the specific um, system that we're trying to pull or the area that we're trying to pull. So under the download section, we've got other format TIF or TIFF. So we're going to click on that and we're going to let it download. You can name it for the location you're looking at if you want to. I'm just going to download it as is because in my case, it really doesn't matter too much. So that's going to take a minute to download here. So this is a program called QGIS. It's a free program that you can download and install. I'm not going to do a tutorial on it, but it's absolutely vital in the setup of this system and in getting extracting the data that you need. So now that that has been downloaded, I'm actually going to go to, to my download section, find it, and then I'm going to drag that into my layers section on the bottom left here. So once we've moved this over to the layers, we're going to select it and then go up to the top and go over to raster. From raster, we're going to choose extraction. From extraction, we're going to choose contour. Now, this is already selected, so that's fine. Layer one, that's fine. Your intervals between contours, this is in meters. So right now it's set to draw a contour line every 10 meters. We're going to want it closer to that. And since we're in the uh, US of A, we're going to use feet instead of meters. You can use meters if you like to, but you know, like I said, we're in the US of A. So uh, if you wanted to do one foot, that would be 0 0.305 meters. However, one foot intervals is usually way too close for contours. And I like to do things that are easily divisible into tens. 
So you could do uh, five foot contours, or in my case, I generally prefer for homesteads, uh, unless you've got a really big or hilly property, to go with 0 0.7625. And the reason for that is that is 2.5 feet or two and a half feet. Two and a half feet obviously goes into 10 feet four times. So every four uh, four contour lines you have, you're going to have a 10 foot increment. So it's really easy to count. Uh, and it's typically for most homestead scale properties, a good increment uh, level. If you've got a really flat property, you might do it closer, like a one footing uh, interval. 0.7625 is going to be the two and a half foot intervals. Everything else here looks good. We're going to leave it that way. So now I'm going to click run. Takes about 10, 15 seconds to run. So now that the contours have loaded for this area, which you can see it's a pretty dense big file, it's taking my somewhat beefy computer a while to load it. So we're actually going to want to cut down the number of layers we need to minimize to just the area that we're looking at. So here's how we're going to do that. First, you need to go on the left-hand side to the browse section up here. You're going to need to go down to XYZ tiles and click Google Maps. You're going to double click that. And generally speaking, it's going to already be in the area, the general area that you're working. So we're going to click OK. And so now you can see Google Maps you can see the location that we're at, but you can't see the contours anymore. So what we're going to do is take Google Maps down here under layers, and we're going to drag that underneath the contours section. So now you can see them layered on top of each other. This way, I can find the area that I was wanting to, to extract the data for. And I'm going to zoom way in. So the next thing I'm going to do once I've found where I want to highlight and keep in mind, you don't want too big of a space or this won't work well when you try to upload it later. I'm going to select the contours layer right here. Make sure that's highlighted. Then I'm going to go up to the shape files layer or make a new shape file layer. And I'm going to click on that. Once I've done that, I'm going to name this contour export. I'm suggesting that you follow my naming nomenclature so that this makes sense as you go forward and you can keep track and follow what I'm doing here. Now under geometry type, I need to select polygon. Once I've done those two things on this new shape file layer, I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask, ask, give me this pop up. I'm just going to click yes. All right. So now you can see that I've got multiple layers here. And I've got this contour export uh, layer. With the contour export layer, I'm going to go up and click this toggle editing tool. And then I'm going to come over here and click the add polygon feature. That looks a lot like a, I don't know, a, a golf green or something. And then I'm going to select the specific area that I want to export. So I'm going to make a polygon. And typically, if this is my uh, property, I'm going to select outside my property lines a little bit so I can see like where water's flowing th from and things like that. Once I've created the polygon I want, instead of continuing to uh, left click, <clears throat> I'm actually going to right click and that's going to bring up this uh, little contour export features attributes ID. I'm not going to actually put anything here. I'm just going to click OK. So now I've got this specific uh, contour item. So now I'm going to highlight this contour export uh, area or the, the layer here. And then I'm going to go up to vector. And from vector, I'm going to go to geoprocessing tools. And then from geoprocessing tools, I'm going to select clip. So there's clip. Now, what I want to select on this input layer is contours. So see how it's got that V-shaped uh, item and it says contours. This is why the nomenclature that I am suggesting is so important. So we're going to select contours is the layer of data we're pulling from. And then the overlay layer is going to be contour export. And the reason I'm selecting that is that is where it's going to export the data that we're pulling from the contours layer too. 
So this pink area that we've highlighted is now going to basically extract the, the lower level data. And so it needs to be contours as your input layer. Uh, overlay layer needs to be contour export. And we're gonna, gonna click run. This should go pretty quickly. It's already complete. I'm gonna click close. And so now we've got the clipped layer. So I'm gonna deselect the contour export layer and the contours layer as far as visually. So you just deselect those and you can see this is our clipped layer. So it's just the property in question that we're wanting to get the contours for. So now that I've created this layer, that's called clipped, I'm going to right click on that layer. I'm gonna go down to export and click save feature as. Now this part's really important um, to get these parts right. It's not especially hard, but follow these instructions really carefully. First of all, you want it to be the KML file. And you don't just name it here because then it's gonna send it to whatever file or folder it wants to. What you're gonna do is send it to the folder you want. In my case, I wanna send it to my downloads folder. It's just kind of my process, but you could send it to your documents or wherever it's easy for you to find. Then you're going to name it. So this is going to be the name of the property, the address of the property, or the name of the project. So this one I'm going to name test site, um, but I might name it, you know, 1234 Highway 141. Whatever makes sense for my nomenclature, this is going to export it as the map, the file that I'm gonna to upload to my maps later. So I'm gonna click save. And so you can see now that the file name is not only the name, but it also has a specific location so I can find it easily. I know that the layer it's pulling from is clipped. So you can see that here and here, and I'm gonna click okay. It's going to create, a, you can either tell it yes, add layer or no add layer. I'm just gonna, you know, I'll pull this over. I'm gonna click cancel because I don't need it to add the layer. Now what I have is I have this layer that you see here of contours in a format that I can upload to just about any, uh, any GIS mapping or mapping program system. So I'm gonna close this down. I no longer need QGIS. So now I'm at Google My Maps, click this button, create a new map on the top, and it will pull up a new map for me. I'm gonna rename this right away as test site um, so that I can keep track of it. And right here under uh, the naming and information, you're gonna see under the untitled layer because we haven't named it yet, I've got an import button. So I'm gonna click that import button I'm gonna to browse to my downloads and found, so I'm under my downloads, I've found test site and I'm gonna upload this. And now you can see that I've got this contour map on a editable map uh, for myself. From here, I'm gonna go under this layer, I'm gonna click, uh, change it from individual styles to uniform style so we don't have this super long list of contours. And then from there, I can change the coloration of those lines and change the thickness of the lines and do other um, other changes to the system that I want to. Like and subscribe. And the more people who are liking this video, the better idea I will get on whether you wanna see the second version of this video to get a better grasp on how to map all of these things together and how to add different features to these maps.